Let's talk about the belief system. A teacher of mine told me that a belief is nothing but a well-practiced thought. So at first I didn't believe that, and then the more I observed it, the more I realized that actually that could be true. Because of this package of beliefs that I started with mainly originated from people who I surrounded myself with. Whatever I was exposed to within my immediate circle had become my belief. And I never bothered to ask myself whether I truly believed those or were those just conditions and thoughts and just sentences that I heard all the time. So I just adopted it as a belief. Now, the way I feel about a belief that it's supposed to be fluid as opposed to rigid, because the rigid belief just limits all my options. If let's say I have a limiting belief that I'm incapable of achieving a certain goal or a certain dream of mine, then I am self-sabotaging myself because if I don't believe in my own dream, then who's going to make it happen? And there are people out there who started as regular people like me and they made their big dreams come true. But someone had to believe in those dreams and I do think that it has to come from here first. So I started to observe my belief system. Every time I was exposed to a situation, I asked myself, okay, well, this is my initial reaction. This is what I believe in. Am I ready to allow an opposition thought to challenge that belief. Now, why do I do that? Not just because I want to choose my belief system to make sure that it's something that came from here, from within, but also because I constantly want to update this software. I don't want to think that I know it all. How could I? I'm not necessarily the center of everything. I am the center of my life, of course, but I'm not the center of everything else and I'm not the know-it-all. So I want to keep it as fluid as possible because so often it helped me along my personal development journey that all I needed was a change in perspective and phew, things started to flow and things started to become real. And after all that, everything I just said, basically it boils down to one thing, which is kind of a core belief of mine at the moment, is that if a belief does not serve me anymore, I ditch the belief and I find a new one. Now, why is that? Because I'm not looking for universal truth. I'm not looking for the one truth. And I have videos about not even believing in the one truth. Because if let's say there are like 8 billion people on the planet and most of us feel that whatever we believe or whatever we think or however we see the world is an okay way to do it. Maybe not the best, but we definitely agree with ourselves most of the time. So to evolve and improve myself, I must let the new in and I must allow my current beliefs to be challenged. And if I find that an old belief of mine does not serve a goal that I'm moving towards, I ditch that. I just find a new one. Either a thought or a belief of mine is supportive or it's holding me back and I prefer the support. So this is why I think that a belief system should be more fluid so we leave the doors open for evolution and for something new.